what is happening guys this is jeffrey here on the channel again and i am very excited to be featuring this car that we have right in front of us it is the new 2024 chevy Trax. it's totally redesigned and fresh from the ground up and chevy decided to uh move in a more bolder design as they have been doing with every single one of the um corporate design especially with that front fascia that you guys can tell there um the car that we have in front of us it is the rs uh, trim and part of the rs package you're going to be getting the 18 inch rims with um 225 wide tires which they are goodyear all-terrain sorry i should say all season tires um which they'll do a good job with the handling and making sure that you get around town and things like that um this one is a front wheel drive um, platform this one basically would compete directly with something like the kia soul um, possibly a hyundai kona maybe a uh well i wouldn't say a venue just because of how small the venue is but nonetheless this is a very significant um size increase for the tracks i want to say it's probably a good couple inches uh, longer stretch than the sole so definitely gives you more uh interior space for more comfort and just an overall pleasant uh ride to be in now i really do like the side profile of the car especially that third corner uh view that you get either from the front or the rear though when you do come to the back in my personal opinion I believe Chevy could have done a slightly better job, especially by lowering the back part of it, just because it looks um, like a long hatchback, a raised hatchback at that um, from this design. But nonetheless, um, it is pretty cool looking in the in certain angles that you guys see the vehicle. But nonetheless, as you guys can see, the car pretty much just has a uh, very interesting design to it. You can kind of tell the difference in the from the rear bumper along with the rest of the body how I guess if you lower the car like if you aftermarket lower the car it can somewhat look better. Um, I just think that it's too it sits up a little high. Um, but then again, you know, looks are always subjective and that's just my personal opinion. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about what's new for this uh, year's model. This particular RS trim is going to have um, things like remote start. It is not a push button start uh, ignition for the car. Instead, you have to use a traditional key. You kind of got to do like this uh, switch blade action, stick it in there and twist it, which is somewhat the same similar of a uh, Kia Soul, depending on the trim level that you're looking at. Um, but let's go ahead and pop the hood so that way we can talk about what's underneath of there. So what's going to be different for this year's model is the fact that uh, Chevy has fitted the tracks with a 1.2 liter three cylinder engine, which you would think that it's a puny motor, but it really does a good job at uh, keeping the car up in speeds and very efficient. This car is rated to be uh, 28 in the city and to do about 32 on the highway, which I'm sure if you're conservative with the gas pedal, you might be able to get something like 33, 34, maybe a little bit better. But as you can see, Chevy makes it very easy for you to service your car by giving you basically everything underneath of here, causing that shop build to be a lot less than what it should be if you're trying to dig underneath of there to get to certain compartments that make it very easy for you to service the car. Now, let's go ahead and talk about what's uh, different and new for this uh, model's generation. And as I mentioned before, the car does not come push to start. Instead, you do have to use this uh, key here stick it right in the ignition and the engine fires right up the car is going to get wireless apple carplay with this eight inch screen and uh, wireless android auto as well which it does some cool things i actually managed to when you look at the settings over here let's say that you actually have a teenager that wants to take the car out for a spin um, you can let's say we go to vehicle go down in the menu select teen driver and then you can basically use one of the keys to um, register with the car to let them know when the teen driver is going to be driving and I guess adjust things according to the driver, which is cool. 
and also other things that the system can do for instance you can basically adjust um pretty much overall settings of the car like if you want the lights to come on uh, for a certain time after you uh walk away from the car after you shut it off things like that um you can get hot spot with this uh, vehicle if you have a uh, OnStar account, which obviously you will have to see your dealer for those type of services. Um, and then down here in the climate settings, you do get three level heated seats um, for the both driver and passenger. And then down here, you will have a USB-C with a regular uh, USB and then a 12 volt right underneath of there. Some extra storage compartment here. And then down here, you would see a little bit of extra storage space there um, and then if you're looking to adjust that center screen Chevy makes it very simple by giving you these um, toggles right here or dials that you can use to pretty much adjust that screen there it'll give you a digital speedometer to uh, trip computer and miles to empty um, MPG and so on much more uh, settings now the car for this class of size surprisingly you get a heated steering wheel which is pretty cool i have not seen that in uh kia soul maybe uh some of the hyundai products may offer that just to kind of like distinct themselves a bit but this car does offer it this vehicle is also like equipped with a lot of advanced safety tech like uh blind spot monitors on each mirror you probably can't see that on the corner there but the car also is going to have rear cross traffic detection. It's going to have automatic high beam assist, lane departure, forward emergency braking system, and much more. Um, to access the lane keep assist, you basically push that button there. And then you have an auto start stop right there, which allows you to, uh, you know, make sure that the engine doesn't shut off on you when you're at a dead stop. When you're, look, when you're waiting in line to get your Dunkin' uh, coffee to get your day started or at the line of Starbucks. But if you put the car in reverse, the car does have a very high def uh, resolution camera for this particular size of car, which I'm very impressed at the quality of the picture, even though this is a $23,000 SUV. It's pretty cool to see that Chevy is actually, um, you know, putting some money into the little details like this. Cause I know for instance, um, some of the Nissan products, they're still lacking with the um, digitalized um, backup camera compartment but it'll give you the trajectory, the distance marker, as you can see. So that way you know exactly how far you would be from uh, any object behind you. The car does also have a manual mode along the side of the shifter there, which you will shift uh, plus or minus. And speaking of shifter, this car does come with a six speed uh, regular automatic transmission. And as you can see, it does have a pretty cool design throughout the interior of the car. Up here, you would find your different buttons and OnStar. Um, no place to hold your sunglasses was I'm shocked that it didn't have that but overall very cool place to be in along with the red um, accents throughout the interior I was admit and say that the um, gloss black on the bottom of the steering wheel which is plastic it's like the front half of it is plastic and the back of the back part of it is like a uh, soft touch um, plastic but it does grip very nice when you hold it down here and when you do make turns it does make it very comfortable as well which i'm overall i'm a fan of the steering wheel they did a really good job with it now as we make our way over to the back of the car i am basically leaving the front seat in my current seating position and on a good day i'm about five foot ten there's still a good amount of knee room i want to say four or five inches of, of knee room and head space you're looking at about an inch it is a bit uh, cramped on the head space back here but you do have some lights and then a little microphone there for um, the passengers to talk to via usb you do have a little storage compartment right underneath of there and i mean it does do the job i would admit that the head space again does is very intrude back here like if somebody were to hit some bumps i might be tapping the the roof or the ceiling of the car i should say but overall as far as knee space i mean i could almost cross my leg back here or now almost i can cross my leg that's how much room there is as far as uh the space goes but let's go to the back so that way we can wrap this uh quick overview up and as you can see it does have a very um, deep very deep uh, space inside the trunk though I would admit that the Kia Soul may have a wider entrance 
maybe not as deep of a space but it, this uh pillars here they do eat a lot into the cargo space but something important to know is that the car does come with a donut which is important no fix uh a flat kit or tire mobility kit i should say which is only good for when you have a flat um and you can take this guy out and adjust it basically in different spots underneath of there if you're looking to um haul some things or just separate some items which is pretty cool and the seats do fold down all you have to do is just pull these flaps right here they collapse right down for maximum cargo and there you go you have even more space now the car does not have a um you know button to close the trunk you do have to pu uh, push it down manually but overall it's a it's a suv that will get its job done you know it's not no luxury or even though it does have some small luxury touches it's still going to get the job done for those buyers that are looking to get uh, a more commanding view for the road and a comfortable ride and very efficient commuter car to be around town um, this vehicle is sold as of this filming but i am going to put a link down the description below where we do have more uh, cars just like this that are available for our inventory and if you happen to be in the south jersey area you're more than welcome to look us up here at rk chevy kia or subaru of vineland new jersey and I'll be more than welcome to help you into the next vehicle that you guys are looking to purchase. Again, my name is Jeffrey. This vehicle was kindly provided by RK Chevy of the RK Auto Group in Violent, New Jersey. And with that being said, the channel is fairly starting and it is growing at a good pace. And I want to thank all you subscribers that are uh, helping out and supporting. I would ask for you to like and subscribe for you to see more videos like this where I will try to go more in depth on the cars. Um, May you guys have a blessed one, and I'll see you down in the comment section below. And if you're interested for more vehicles like this, I'll put similar ones at the end of the video, so that way you guys can check those out as well. Take care and talk to you guys soon.